Uh, welcome back to the Basic As Podcast. Welcome back. Um, Sorry, you're doing it. I say it. All right. I say it. Well, welcome back to the Basic As Podcast. You got it I'm, that time. I'm, I'm <laughs> John. And, and I'm Tits. She's Anchorman reference. Tits McGee's yeah. off today. <laughs> Classic. That's such a fucking good movie. All right, so we've uh, we've we've come back, and I just before we get started, I just want us to uh, have a uh, a congratulations, if you will, for Joshua. His lovely wife uh, has given birth to their son. When was it? Not last Sunday. The Easter Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, yeah, Easter Sunday. Yep. So congratulations to you. Thank you, mate. I appreciate uh, Hannah that. and obviously Billy Boy. Young Billy. Yes. Yep. Now, first of all, mm -hmm. got to address a bit of a gripe I have. Okay. With you. Yep. Not so much you, but Hannah. Okay, so. Yep. We had a friendly bet between uh, yourself, my wife, your wife, and me about when the baby would be born. Yep. There was a TV online. There was new a TV. New TV. Yeah. So whoever the winner was, a new TV. Mm -hmm. Now, I believe you said the 5th. No, I said the 8th. 8th? You said the 8th. Mm. Tegan said the 6th. Mm. I said the 7th to split the middle. Yeah. Now, Hannah... She said the 12th. She said the 12th. Yeah, so I win. Because he was born on the 9th. No, it's, it's closest without going over. I wasn't over. I was under. Oh. Yeah. What do you mean? Closest without going over? So, so 8 is, is out. So, so, so Hannah wins. Work? So Hannah wins. Why? She was twelve. She was three days away. But she, you, your day passed. That's a stupid rule. It's yeah, like should be either side. No, 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 no. It's always if your day go past. The problem is, I think there's a conspiracy. You said the eighth. She said the twelfth. He's born on the ninth. We're both out of the running. Tegan and I. Ann specifically said the twelfth because she had something coming up on the twelfth, which uh, in the term of, uh, what, what is it, the obstetrician, mm -hmm. that's the uh, professional that mm -hmm. uh, deals with the birthing and stuff like that, it's called a stretch and sweep, and a lot of women have it, and Ham was due to have that on the 12th, Okay, so that's why she said the 12th. So, still, gripe, I feel like this was an inside job, <laughs> I feel like this is on the same level as 9-11, <laughs> and... The, Hang on, so you are saying that 9-11 was a conspiracy? Absolutely. Okay, because you've never admitted that before. <laughs> Of course it was conspiracy. Fucking oath it was. Of course yeah. it fucking yeah. was. Sorry. And, and we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. And I demand some sort of Remuneration. Uh, in, in independent review. So I, I feel like our listeners, our viewers, I feel like they should be the judge. Sure. Because Hannah was ultimately in control of this. And, you know... Yeah. Both of you, the I feel like she held it in. <laughs> if she didn't want me to win a TV, why didn't she just say so? To hold, <laughs> to hold back the birth of your child. It's because you, you've got a perfectly good TV anyway. And there, where is this TV? Hands yet to receive it, and well, if she has, then okay, I haven't well, seen it. Well, it's in the works. So, yeah. Well, it's because there's there's a dispute. Because there's a dispute. <laughs> there's no TV until the dispute is raised. Okay. Wait, hey, you're worse than DVA. <laughs> that's, that is fucking very harsh. That is very harsh. Yeah, that's pretty. That's that is like as far as uh, you know. What's the opposite of compliments? Insult. In yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the ultimate insult. Like there's not much below that. Yeah. You know. So like, what's the opposite of conscious? Unconscious. Then that's what you fucking seem to be. <laughs> Hey, do you not have your breakfast or something? <laughs> You're fucking ah. Oh. All right, address. <laughs> let's address. That. Oh yes, okay. So I want. I'm making a conscious effort to not be such a pig. I don't want to swear as much anymore. You really just don't want to be a cunt. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I like. I want to try and like, you know, like cease and desist. Like fossil fuel cars. Let's see if we can get rid of me swearing by 2030. Yeah, okay. Right. Um, so we've put in and we will retrospectively go back and do the swear no. job. No. Oh. No, I'm not paying for all the times that I did originally. I see. 
Mate, they're... I'm going to start calling you... I've got you... a mortgage, mate. Like, I'm, I'm, come on. I'm going to have to start calling you BHP, mate, because you, <laughs> you're as bad as the fossil fuels. Like, next thing, there's going to be... That doesn't make sense to me. There's going to be there's gonna be oil spills everywhere, and you're going to be like, well, those penguins probably deserve to be oiled up. Yeah, I'm not right, paying like... for the old penguin deaths. <laughs> Anything after this point, and then we'll see what excuses I can o make up for. Oil like, spills happen from time to time. And yep. and oil's a natural resource. And, you know, it, it was underground, now it's above ground. And now it's what in are the you ocean. Gonna do? You mix it together. You know what? If you're cooking pasta, you have to put oil in the water. All right? <laughs> and that's... That's the truth. That's one thing I've learned. So, but yeah, I'm going to make a conscious effort to not be so vulgar. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. yeah, I really don't want to swear. And it's why just, is that? Is oh, there a reason behind it? Just because it's horrible. Like when you hear yourself, like I haven't watched any of the episodes. Excuse me, we just stop right there. Mm -hmm. You haven't watched any of the episodes. No, I don't, I, I don't really like to watch myself. So you don't support your own show? It's your show. I'm just here. So you don't support me. That's support, even worse. I, I support you. We don't I watch my show. You, no, I support you in other ways. Um, but I don't like to hear my... I don't like the sound of my own voice. I don't like my appearance. It says a lot about where my head's at. But um, one thing I do know is that the clips that you have showed me, I, I tend to swear a lot. And it's, it's ugly. I don't That's like fair. it. That's fair. But it's, like, it's just one of those things, isn't it? Like, um, you know... I just do it way too often. Yes. So I'm going to be, I'm trying to be conscious of the fact that there are ways, better ways to structure a sentence without putting filler words in it. Mm. You know, unnecessary filler words. They're and generally that, that's four it. letters. That's, four yeah, letters. That's, yeah, that's my stance and I'm sticking to it. Okay. All right. All on right. that note, what do you think would be the tastiest Pokemon if you had to cook it and eat it? Shit. I never thought about that before. I thought of it on the drive here. Well, who'd you say? I don't know. That's why I got that list of the original, the OG 150, and then you Is said there a pig related one? Oh, Taurus. That's a bull one. That's a bull one. That's beef. That's got to be. But it's got high yeah. testosterone. I think the testosterone doesn't make it taste as good. That's why, why you don't do you, eat bulls. Why do you think it's got high testosterone? Does it say that in the show? I assume because it's a male. Yeah, but you still eat bulls no, you don't. normally. No, you don't. What? No. Yeah, you do. No, you don't eat bulls. Really? They castrate, and I have done this as a child. They, You're serious. They castrate males at a young age, and they become steers. Okay. So that they will grow up, fatten up, and then they kill them at a certain age, and then you harvest them. Uh, then oh, you so eat. you don't eat the... So it's a steer that you eat? A steer, which yeah, is a male that. without testicles. Okay, gotcha. So the bull... I don't, like, so you keep a bull uh, because you'd keep... A set bull saying that they much like dogs, you think that they've got good traits, so you're going to then breed that one yeah, again, so you, and then you'll put then it anything in a else, yes, full of other cows, yes, and, yep, yes. Gotcha. So you do that That's with what sheep, Steve did with his, yeah. yeah, and so you do that with sheep as well. So yep. as a child, one male, heaps of, yeah, heaps of ewes, yeah, and there's a ratio, you know. Yeah. Um, and dad had a funny joke where he's like, the sheep, would, the ram would go around and say, Thank you, ma'am, thank you, ma'am, thank you, ma'am, sorry, Sam, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Because there'd be a few rams in there and then, you know, <laughs> might be a little bit of confusion. And as a child, I heard that and I thought that was very funny. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Sorry, Sorry Sam. Sam. I love that. That's brilliant. That was a uh, James Alcock special. Did he one. laugh after he told it? He gave a little bit of a chuckle. Yeah. He would have had like a little wry smile. Yeah. Knowing that he was about to land an absolute zinger. Yeah. 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 Good on him. Yeah, he often landed zingers and he just sort of like, he really played it down. Did he's he? just like, oh yeah. That's just, and he's like, that's another one, mate. It's, I All got right. plenty in the bag, you know? Yeah, plenty. Mm. It, you know, he, he said he had plenty. There, hey, like, there's going to be some days you swing and, and there's going to be some days you miss and some yeah. days you're going to hit. But Wayne he Gretzky took, said, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. So. My dad took a lot of shots. Yeah. He, he, he scored a few times, maybe not. I don't know. Like, he's Good not, on him. I don't know if he's making the playoffs. Well, apples and trees, man, hey. Apples and trees? Yeah, like apples don't fall far from the tree. Because you often tell me jokes that are absolute garbage. Yeah, I figured that out yeah. after you explained. That's really harsh. Did you not have you... your wheat bix I hope when you're eating your wheat bix tomorrow, they're really soggy. Don't have any left. Have to go to the shops to get them. Yeah, I hope anyway, they're, I hope they're stop all out. dodging the question about the Pokemon that would be the tastiest. 
Um, I'm just going to quickly get the list back up, um, and then I'm going to fire off a few Pokemon to see if you think that they would be tasty enough for you to to eat. Hang on. So what do you reckon a Bulbasaur would taste like? Uh, it'd be like broccoli sort of... No, no, no. <laughs> Bulbasaur. No, it'd be like um, Brussels sprouts or... or um, no, Bulbasaur. Oh, no. Why would it taste like Brussels sprouts? Sorry. I'm getting my Pokemon confused. It's been a long time. I was thinking... I thought you were talking about Bellsprout, uh, which is also a Pokemon. I can see. I can see how that might taste like a... Um, you know, the, the, uh, uh, <laughs> Magic Magikarp would be very fish-like, so that's like sort of tuna. Mate, you're going to all the ones that are like conventional things that you can get from the shops. Yeah, well, that's... Like, how else am I supposed to think? You've got 150 to choose from. Imagine sinking your teeth. Well, no, you know what I reckon? What? Abba. A uh, uh, no, Abba? Abba? No, Abba. Is it Abba? Abba. Abba. <laughs> What's the first evolution of the... <laughs> what, the psychic one? Yeah. Abra. Abra. Abra Kadabra and the Alakazam, I think yeah. it was. So Abra, because it's, that, it's uh, like a lamb. It's very young and it'd probably be super juicy because it's quite young. That's why I eat lamb. And what, you, what even kind of animal is it? Hang on, I got mate, Pikachu. Like, for some reason, I reckon it'd taste sweet. Yeah, probably. I don't know. What else have we got here? Uh, I'm just going down through. Oh, Clefairy. Yeah. Now that is a fairy floss monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be good. That's something you'd put put on a stick and eat at the circus. Would the stick up its ass? <laughs> it's just anywhere in its body. It doesn't have to go up there. Uh, Volpix. No, it's a too dog-like. You wouldn't want to... Yeah, you wouldn't want to Nothing dog do. or cat. Mate, Jigglypuff. That'd be the same as a uh, Clefairy, I think. Yeah. You so, could put it... You could turn it into a spread. Yeah. You could, you could make that into a spread. Yeah. Like just marshmallow. As, I just wouldn't want to be there when it they kill it um, because they cry quite a lot. Do you reckon you'd get high from the mushroom ones? <laughs> yeah, probably. That one Especially, looks... Especially, man. That, that, <laughs> I can't even see what's it. <laughs> Mate, Gloom. Gloom. Anybody that's like of our uh, vintage and remembers Pokemon, mate, do yourself a favour. Go and have a look at Gloom. I'll put it up on the screen. Mate, Gloom has been lobotomised. Yeah. Gloom has had a... No, I think Gloom has had too many mushrooms and is just... No. No, he's just gone. Gloom has had a lobotomy and has developed a, a tumour that looks like a heap of Maltesers clustered together. If you were going to have a crack at one of those Pokemon from that, you'd go Vile Plume, even though the name plenty to eat as well. Plenty to eat. Plenty. Plenty. To you just twist that mushroom off the top of his head. Mm. He dies painlessly. He or she. You hope. I you reckon, really hope. I reckon that you'd be fine. Um, uh, what do you reckon a Diglett would taste like? Dirt. Fucking like a mole. True. That's true. That's like a, a fucking mate, mole or something. How satisfying would it be to eat meow? Just because Again, you, it's a cat like, one. Up, mate. It's a cat. Uh, no, you're like, just shut your mouth. And that's just, just one oh, specific I one. I life drain out of him. I think you just want to kill Mew. Uh, uh, meow. <laughs> Whatever it's called. I forget, man. It's been so long since I thought about this. Yeah, there, there, there. you go. Abra. Yeah, Abra. Mate, Abra is you know in that, an induced coma. You know what that l reminds me of? Is what? the animal that they reckon gave us the spicy cough. You know, that they were the, the Chinese people were eating. You know, there's that certain... Oh, yeah, yeah. The um, It's, like, it's not an armadillo, but it's... But that looks very... Like, it's like armadillo-esque. Yeah. Mate, and then his... Uh, evolution. His ancestors, his evolution, they have spoons, bro. Yeah, that's why I want to go the baby one. No spoons. So no you metal. don't... Yeah. I guess you got to waste not want not... Mm. Weeping Bell, that would taste like shit. I reckon Bell Sprout would be okay. Yeah. The first one. I mean... <sighs> Slowpoke? Slowpoke. Slow poke. Yeah, 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 yeah. That seems like it would be some sort, sort of like... pig-like. Yeah, Japanese Very, delicacy. Yeah, put an apple in that. Yeah, you could roast put an apple it. in it. Mm. Uh, That'd probably be good. Lifeless eyes, though. Yeah. You know. Um, you, you, oh, that know. reminds me of my dad's 40th. He got a... <laughs> Hang on a sec. How does Slowpoke... Remind you of your dad's 40th. Well, if you let me finish, <laughs> you'll fucking find out. It's interrupted me again. <laughs> so my dad, at my dad's 40th, yeah. he had a whole pig on a spit. Oh, okay. That, I see. And I looked yeah. into that pig's eyes and I was terrified because I was about four or five at the time. And I'd never seen anything like that. So yeah, this is a core memory for you? I fucking hope it is. Yeah, yeah. So just talk me through it then. Does it make you like... It was a pig's head. 
Oof. and it just its eyes were like white and it was just rotating around and the sad thing was i'd already eaten that day and that's what i'd eaten yeah i'd eaten him but did you so you'd eaten and then you came and saw yeah because they like opened around. it up and like it was still going but obviously no one's going for the head and no. it's just like not no australian's going for the head I only say were that. There, were there other people other than Australians there at Jimmy's 40th? No, absolutely not. Yeah, I didn't think so. No, no. Our, our dad's, mum and dad's circle of friends are very white. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, though. Well, if you grow up in, like, the Clare Valley, you know, I don't think it's the multicultural hub of South Australia. Absolutely not. But Especially they lo- when you grew up there. Yeah. Might be, might be changing now. You never know. I think there's just not enough job opportunities specifically around there. So unless you really want to be something in the viticulture or agriculture sort of thing, yeah, that's that's all it's there. Yeah, exactly. The you know, yeah, there's not not a lot going on, eh? No, no. But yeah, so man, that would have been traumatic. Yes, it is. That's why I'm speaking about it now at 32 years old. Does it still make th- when you have like pork? Uh, no, pork I haven't products, thought about it since. It doesn't. Yeah, oh, okay. No. That's answer. interesting. I've pushed it right down. Yeah, it's a risk. Res- Until uh, you're like, hey, would you eat a slowpoke? And I'm just like... Just you said like, slowpoke. And then the helicopters, like the helicopter. I hear the helicopters, you know. That's my <laughs> Vietnam. Far-fetched. It'd be like know, duck-like. Yeah, duck. And then he's also got like... A leak? Uh, yeah, a leak. Yeah. That you or, can, or you a, can or pair or it with. So yeah, that's he's, nice. Uh, he comes already already recipe recipied. Yeah. recipe size. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Seal, yeah, seal. you club that. Yep. yep you... <laughs> Would you eat Mark? <laughs> Mark, bro. <laughs> Mark is like prison food. <laughs> no, Mark's what they serve yeah. you at Pucker Punyal. Yeah, at the uh, mess, bro. A funny, funny story about that. One what? of the corporals uh, back in the reserves got to go on one of the American ships, and they went down to the galley, and uh, there was these big boxes of donuts, and on the donuts it said. Not for human consumption, for prisoner and military use only. <laughs> and he saw that and was like, because he's man, in the Australian not... Army, he's just like, what's the deal? And they're just like, that's the deal. That's the deal. That's the deal. We got a lot of, we got a lot of, we got a lot of prisoners and we got a lot of soldiers. So, but we're not even considered like, yeah, human. Well, we, we sort of were a bit higher than them. Man, I'm not so sure about that. Some of the food that I've had in army messes. Not the officer's mess. Oh, of course not. So I, I was fortunate enough. Of course you were. When I first joined the army, I went to Bullshit Castle, all, also known as Royal Military College Duntroon. Mm. Um, one of the most horrible places on earth, mm. by the way. Mm-hmm. And when I was there, we had to go to, I think it was, is Darwin First Brigade or? I don't know. Anyways, we I went to Darwin. truly don't remember. We went to care. the base up in Darwin and then they were like, righto. You guys get to see the the officers' mess and the sergeants' mess because we were um, staff, staff cadets, cadets yeah. or re- staff going Edwards, up to be yeah. going up to be officers. Imagine that. Imagine me as an officer. I would have been so much worse than you already are. Yeah. 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 I think about it a lot, actually. I, I would. Like, I wouldn't want to think about it. Like, I, there's no way I would have gone into like a a combat corps. I don't imagine. Like, I think I would have been pushed to the you know, the far corners of the military in terms of, like, being, like, an ordnance officer or mm. something like that. Mm. Which actually would have, mm. like... Yeah, yeah, that high. Blankets. Blankets. Ten blankets. But, um... Fifty pencils. True. Uh, so but anyway, yeah, yeah we, we, we got to the officer's mess. Mm-hmm. And it was like, oh, yeah, that's food. Mm. You know? But then you had to, like, go back to, like, the digger's mess and you're like, wow, mm. it's a carbon rod in there. Mm horrible and they're like do you want it or not yeah and they're like next person yeah you know and then so, i remember at kapuka they're just like they're like you have to call me private the um who said that? the cooks what it's on the other side so we were recruits and so we'd rock up and i'd just be like hey can i have some of that and they'd just be like it's private and i'd be like oh man and be like oh my god okay that's yeah that's so that, sad that's a, a lot of overkill yeah that's horrible that human beings can you know it's terrible way eh? yeah i my, my the funniest ones were when you you knew those like the little cadets and so they had their individual ranks and some of them would be like sergeants or mm-hmm. within the cadets yeah and it's like a 12 year old kid 
and you know he's screaming at you to to call him sergeant. Yeah, I had a major say that to me, and he was like, I don't know, like fifteen. He's like, I'm a major in the cadets. I'm like, I'm a private in the uh, yeah. full time army. That's great, man. So in other words, you have no friends, mm. and your parents are. See, this is where it's hard to swear, hard not to swear, because like I want to emphasize my point, but it's like you you couldn't be any closer to being like an absolute fuckwit as a child. Yeah, I wanted to join the army cadets, and and that's why, that's why I say you, you know, what I just said. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't. Well, I have some redemption. You thought about it, so thought about a lot of things. Well, at one point, I probably wanted to be a caterpillar, you know, like. True. Um, so what but yeah, so where have we landed? Just to summarize really quick on like, all right, so, you know, eating Pokemon. Real quick. I reckon Charizard would be pretty good too because yeah. there's a lot of meat and that's dragon meat. That's dragon meat. Surely Spicy. that's... It'd surely like, that's... Yeah, barbecue. Yeah. But it's lizard too. Um, but there would be like... Yeah, that, reptile, that's what I thought, that's what I came to as well. Mm. It's like a premium price on Charizard. What about um, then Blast you got Blastoise? Too salty. Uh, it's a Ocean turtle water. though. Yeah. Ocean water. Okay. Like I've never eaten turtle meat. No. But again, it's just, it, I'm, thinking of, I'm thinking of like a volume thing. There's oh a lot, yeah, A lot of sure. it to go around. They're a big Pokemon. Yeah. Far out. Imagine that. Imagine sure. in the world of Pokemon, it's like, this is a Charizard farm. Or like a Blastoise farm. And <laughs> how many deaths would occur like for average workers at a, <laughs> at a Blastoise farm? Yeah, it's like, oh, like, i got to go and round up the Blastoise and just get your face blown off by a, yeah, cause like they, a high pressure. Yeah. Because <laughs> what are they? Because when they evolve, don't they? Can't they learn like one of the hyper moves? <laughs> and it's like hyper power. And yeah. And just it's dish. like the, the power of like 14 nuclear weapons yeah. in terms of like... It has, aqua pressure coming yeah, at your head. It has literal cannons yeah. on its shoulders yeah. coming out of it. Yeah. Which, like, you know, imagine if humans developed cannons as they grew older. It'd be pretty cool. I mean, you could argue that, that some do. Do you know what this is? Hmm? You know what that is? Nope. It's a gun rack. <laughs> I don't know why we're friends, to be honest, sometimes. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Hey, where's it, where are the Pepsis? You said Pepsi. That's Pepsi Max. Well, don't fucking drink it then. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, this is like reliving my childhood. <laughs> I wanted to circle back to like parenthood and all of that. Yeah. Um, but you're just like, yeah, that's just going to really hurt my ears when I have to edit this shit. But it's a satisfying sound. Yeah, yeah. So, do you feel like we've squashed the uh, the Pokemon uh, question? Do you feel? Yeah, I'm satisfied with it. Well, now I well, guess I don't think we answered it. I think both of us are gonna like we're not gonna come up with a consensus on which Pokemon we would we would think. 151 would to best. choose from. That's hard, man. I mean, Mew is like that's that's a calamari. No, I think that's forbidden fruit, whatever that is. Yeah, but I think that he Mew would have Mew the too. Yeah, Mew would have like. The consistency of uh, of like calamari, like the best kind, and so then would you, you know, batter it? You, yeah, you'd, I'd probably batter it. Yeah, but I'm gonna go with Mew or Mewtwo. Mewtwo, pro well, Mew because it's smaller and like again, it's that lamb sort of thing. It'd be, yeah, it'd be real I reckon tender. it'd be good. Yeah, Mewtwo looks like pretty ripped, so it'd probably be kind of hard and hard, a bit chewy. Yeah, bit chewy, yeah. chewy. Yeah, I want that. Be like no. crocodile sort of alligator. I've never said, had crocodile. Either. Dad had it, and he said it wasn't very good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. All right. So what do we? Uh, what so I wanted we to circle to back again to because we went on off on a wild tangent, uh, and other than my personal gripe with Hannah and um, the conspiracy of Billy's birth, uh, how do did you feel? You know, Easter Sunday, second coming of Christ. I thought it was Monday. No, he was born again on Sunday. So you're equating... No, he wasn't born again. He, he, he was uh, resurrected. He was yeah. resurrected on Sunday. I always get confused. Wasn't, wasn't in the cave anymore. So what you're saying is that 
Billy yes. is Jesus? Well, not in the same flesh, but all signs point to yes. So, so why did you call him Billy and not like Jesus and or Jesus? Because it's a new generation of um, new generation of Jesus. I feel like if Jesus Imagine could if, have picked yeah. his own name, he probably would have picked something different. Imagine if like, we should read some Bible verses and just replace Jesus with Billy, mm-hmm. and it would probably sound pretty wild. I reckon it'd be pretty good. We it's should do that. It sounds like the Wild West. Yeah, a little bit. That's part of the reason why I called him Billy. I like it. It's like sort of a like Billy the Kid yeah. is like one of the most uh, renowned outlaws in. And it, not to say that I want him to be a criminal. Well, I was about to say, what if he becomes like a police officer? He's the complete opposite. He's not a he cowboy could, at all. He could be. Yeah. You know that. Could what if happen. he becomes an accountant? I really struggle to see Bill becoming an accountant, but it's possible. Stranger things have happened. You know, considering <clears throat> they had four seasons of that show. Huh? Stranger Things. Oh yeah. Yeah, that that, that's pretty strange. Show. Four seasons, really? Yeah. Ah, oh, now I'm really gassy. That's unlike you. I know. I'm trying to hold it in so I don't burp. But, um, yeah, I, I like it because, you know, my dad always said to me, he's like, you know, kids live up to their name. And if you've, like, Billy's a naughty name. And I'm like, my theory is, <clears throat> and I've always had this theory about dogs that I've trained and mm. dogs that I've selected for work and stuff like that. Because it was a, one of my old mentors, he said to me, he goes, Shagger. You never want to be whipping the donkey. You want to tame the tiger, never whip the donkey. And I was like, that makes a lot of sense. You know? Is that like a sex reference? Nope. It's literally just about you want to rein in natural potential. You don't want to have to, you know, be pushing something that lacks drive and motivation. Yeah, that is Nothing interesting. Nothing to do with sex. Okay. I, yeah. thought, I thought like whipping the donkey was maybe like masturbating too hard. That's what I thought. That's yeah. where my mind went. Well. Is that a reflection of me? Yeah. Okay. Big time. I'll take that. A lot of, a lot of things going on up on the Pepsi, old cranium. Pepsi just kicking you into another dimension, man. I'm doing ketamine too. Oh, when yes. It, when I get back from America. Wow, on. dude. I'm really excited for you to do that. Uh, the doctor or psychiatrist um, was very serious, obviously, about it. And he's like, it's S-ketamine, not ketamine. It's S-ketamine. So S ketamine. Well, what's the difference? S ketamine is a, um, a nasal. nasal. Yep. And so I was just like, oh, so I don't need to bring my own spoon as a joke. And he's like, oh, no, it's not like that at all. No, because obviously it's a pretty yeah. serious now party drug. And so they even asked me in like the induction, they're like, have you ever had ketamine before? Mm. And they said, I said no, because I haven't. And Some people call it regretamine. Well, I hope it's not. But then no, they tick that you thing. Take and, too much, uh, and they talk about K holes. Yeah. And, you know stuff like that but in a therapeutic setting i think that um it could be very beneficial from what i've heard i would like to try it myself one day and who knows might get to but i'm excited for you man that's actually really cool it's really interesting though because obviously it's pretty hardcore because they're like all right so a few rules you have to be taken to the appointment and you can't drive afterwards until you've had a restful night's sleep Mm. so if you have it in the morning yeah. You can't drive home and you just got to keep doing what you're doing and then you can't drive till the next day once mm. you've had a sleep. Gotcha. So, can't eat three hours beforehand. Yeah, because that'll affect... Can't drink an hour beforehand. So, it's like pretty pretty serious. Yeah, but... Pretty serious stuff. So, it's essentially fasting. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be... I have to be kind of organized. Yeah, that doesn't sound that difficult. No, no. Yeah. It's just like... I guess it puts more like pressure on it because it's a bit more daunting. It's not just like roll in and do whatever. So that's how you feel about it. It's daunting. I'm not taking the piss. I'm just yeah. I guess so. Like liking. yeah. It's like it, I guess it's there's that extra element to it. Like I have to uh, be a bit more active instead of passive. Well, you've taken uh, cannabis before. Yes, I have. Had some the uh, other day. You had some the other day. Yeah. It's always better to do it on like an empty stomach i think Mm. because you get more out of it and the experience is going to be better and not impacted by you know what you've eaten i believe that it plays a massive part like 
especially if I've had like a few coffees oh, yeah. that day, mm. nowhere near as settled mm. into it. And, mm. you know, mind more likely to race things like that. So it, it will affect, I can understand why they don't want you to eat, why they don't want mm. you to drink so that the, the ketamine can do its, its job properly. And it's not battling, your body's not battling, you know, to metabolize it mm. properly. Anything and, else. It's yeah. It's just, it's all, it's all about the K. That probably makes absolutely no sense. Like, oh, I can't understand it. Yeah. But I'm excited. Like what, do you have any expectations of what you might I get out it, of it or? I think it's going to get real dark. I think uh, the old, you know, it's going to be dark as before the dawn sort of shit. It's probably going to well, bring up it, a lot of bad stuff. Yeah. Think of it as, you know, it's a, a like a deep clean, mm. I guess. Mm. The ability to go back and, you know, access old memories, um, you know, that are deep in your subconscious that maybe, you know, holding you down a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. It'd be very interesting. I'm, I'm going to try and record it as much as I can, like before and after. Have, they, have you spoken to them about doing that? No, I'll just do it like before I go in and then... Put one of these on. Yeah, I guess I could. Hide, hide it in there. For real. Yeah. That might be scary though because I could say some wild shit. Yeah, just start speaking in tongues. Yeah. You, you speak fluent Latin. Yeah. And, you... and then you put it through a translator and you're just like, man. That's and it's like, sp- join the Navy. Yeah. <laughs> join the Navy. That's a good reference. <laughs> what is that again? Backwards? It's like an... Even at the yard. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's not, it's not um, LT. What was it? LT smash? It's Lieutenant smash? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all. That's all you get from your ketamine. And then he pulls yeah. the thing out in his pants, like, Shh. and then he's like, the other one is the other way is the direct method. He's like, hey, join the navy. He's like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but that's like all you get from your. There would be a lot of those therapy. memories in there, though. I oh, had this conversation. There'll be heaps of army memories. I think there'll be heaps of memories from your childhood. Yeah. Like, um, the, someone who I really love, and you love as well, Theo Vaughn, uh, he I did I thought it. you were going to say Tegan, but... No. She's, she's great as well. Um, yeah, she's not as funny as Theo, though. Well, I don't think that there are many people on the planet, this is my biased opinion, that are at that level of yeah. you know, God-tier funny. Yeah, he's um, pretty funny. Um, but he did it. Uh, yes. Because he's been public with his mental health struggles and his, yes. like... Yes, he has. How he's tried to deal with it a lot over the course of the podcast that he's had and stuff mm. like that mm-hmm. and um yeah he speaks about his ketamine therapy and how pardon me he just speaks a lot about how he you know got to have moments with his dad who mm. had passed away and you know, wow so really deep emotional stuff and i think this is this could be like stuff like ketamine therapy, uh, psilocybin, mm-hmm. MDMA, mm-hmm. stuff like that, that have traditionally been used for people in uh, recreational purposes and partying. Mm. I think used in the right setting of with course. the right dosage mm-hmm. could be very therapeutic for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, you know, psilocybin uh, has been used for a lot of people in... I think in Australia definitely has overseas. In I only countries. know of America personally, but they are yeah. doing lots of studies with psilocybin, MDMA, uh, a little bit with cannabis. But I know there's a big, from what I've seen, from what I've watched, yeah. a lot in America. They're trying to do it uh, both in the veteran side of things, but then also the general pop. And they're trying to see like how they can, they're trying to, it looks like they're trying to move away from standard SSRIs, antidepressants. Um, yeah. Well, I and, think. I and think. I think that's good because, like, you know, so many people, like, including ourselves and other people that I know that are close to me in my life, mm. have been on SSRIs for a long time. Yeah, I'm currently um, on it. And you are that, at the moment. Yep. And that is one thing that you, he automatically upped my dose, the um, psychiatrist. Uh, well, prior to having the yeah, ketamine yep, therapy. Yep, yep. Yeah. He said, automatically take more. I was on 40, he said, take 60. So it's not a big jump, but still it's like... So did he tell you why? Um, no, I, d- I don't know why. He didn't tell me why, or I can't remember. 
but uh, maybe like obviously a preparation thing. Yeah, you know, to get you in the best headspace possible, maybe. Yeah. Um, um, but then um, one of the things to be able to be eligible for ketamine therapy is that you need to be like long term uh, depressant and then have tried more than two antidepressants, which I've tried like four or five in my time. Yep. Um, sure. Off and on. Um, so yeah, I'm, I've definitely but had a go around the round of uh, what are you? carousel. I've, I've had yeah, a go around right the on the on the on the carousel. Yeah. Um, but it's exciting. I know I'm excited for you, mate. Like, uh, regardless of what happens, because you can have the experience. You can talk about it. Hopefully, it works. Like, I really hope that it does give you something from it. Um, you know, and I really hope that this is a pathway that society is going to take long term. Mm. You know, things that address issues instead of just like paper macheing over the cracks on the wall. Yeah. You know, because it's it's not about the uh, how the building looks; it's how it's built and how mm. it's withstanding mm. underneath all the the um. Oh, what is the word, John? Hyperficial? No, that's not it. Superficial. Superficial. Yeah, the superficial things. Mm. You know, it's mm. like you can look good, like you can look fine on the surface, but, you know, how rotten are the roots of that tree? Yeah, and I feel like that's, everyone puts on a brave face, and I think uh, that's an interesting concept, and I'm sure we could unpack that quite a lot about how in society, I don't know what, what you think of it, but like sort of you almost feel like you have to be okay in society because you don't want to burden anyone with your problems of being like, yeah, it was, unhappy or depressed or whatever. Yeah, it was certainly like that. That was how it felt when I was probably like teenage years, early 20s, mm -hmm. where, you know, not a lot of people would speak about things like depression and anxiety. Mm -hmm. um, now, it's, you know, at the forefront of a lot of social discussion, um, which I think is a good thing. Um, and certainly since... COVID has happened, I think there's been a massive spot. Like COVID's happened like even before that, but that was a massive catalyst for mm. people's fear, anxieties, um, everything that that's, you know, mm. been a part of who they are, but it's like buried on a subconscious level, I think has come to the surface a lot more. Like I don't think that there's ever been a time in, certainly not in our lives, that mental health has been it's been publicized that it's this bad. Yeah, because I've spoken to my parents about it and like they, t they, they often say like that's just not how it was done back in the, their day. No, you didn't talk about it. Yeah, and you know. But then you get to the end of like, you don't talk about the things, but you know, like both of our parents, they're not talkers, hmm. are they? No. Nah. Like it's taken my dad to stop drinking altogether like be completely sober for him to finally start having conversations that are deeper than you how know. you doing yeah how's your day exactly get me another beer pretty much hey? yeah yeah it's so well mate i think and i don't think there certainly will be people in that generation like our parents generation that will have the the uh the courage to try alternate therapies like this but i don't think it's going to be for that generation of people because they're too set in their ways and you know the way that they were brought up with the idea of of drugs mm. drug mm. culture stuff mm -hmm. like that like i remember when mum found out that i smoked like cannabis and mm. she was mortified it was like i was a heroin addict you know and yeah. for someone like that because that was the way that it was drilled into a society oh yeah, oh, yeah. back then so mm. it's you know the like like all of that gunk and crap that surrounds the actual truth of the matter is taken a long time to like chip away at yeah. and erode and like you know but let me ask you this mm. did your parents smoke oh 100 percent. oh wow yeah exactly <laughs> it's like <laughs> oh but that's oh, legal oh, and drink right yes and those two are legal those two a, are legal dad was an alcoholic for yeah. you know a long long time so out of the three though they often say like alcohol's one of the worst out of those three. So for me talking. personally, it is the worst. Mm. Like, like I know a lot of like my mates, heap of veterans that 
abuse cannabis at the moment. Mm. Yep, yeah, they do. Me and there's, too. there's no I, there's I no getting around it. Like you don't need to like a good mate of mine, like we used to go to the gym and sometimes he'd pick me up in his van and like before we'd even walk into the gym, he'd have a cone. And you're like, do you really need to do that? Yeah. Like, but it's, you know, and you can use all the excuses you want that it's like, <coughs> oh, I'm just doing it to like, you know. Calm my nerves. Yeah, calm, or, like yeah. relax at the, the end of the day, yeah. you know, but there's something deeper that you're running away from mm. if you're doing it before you walk into the gym. Mm. Um, and then I'm assuming after the gym, does he have a little... Yeah, 100%. Yeah, a little bit yeah. of a tug. Yeah. But I still love him to death. Um, mm. But I know a lot of, of people like that, and I'm very fortunate that I've never really had that problem with cannabis. Drinking was a different story, though, altogether. Mm. Like, completely different, you know... Yeah, and we've, we've both... Uh, I've been out when you've been drinking, and, uh, you know, you got the nickname the, the Rhino for a reason, because... Yeah. I'm a mm. long way... That that doesn't exist anymore. That was like five or six years ago. That was like when we first met. You were still in the army. So like that yeah. was probably, I'm um, speaking from my personal experience, knowing you, probably one of the worst times of your life. Yeah, it was, wasn't was great in mm. retrospect. Um, mm. you know, and you probably weren't in the right environment because we all drank as well. Like we all did it. Yep. You know, the, when we went traveling, like, you know, remember when we went with Andy and stuff like that, um, like yeah. as in to Japan? Yep. Like Andy is tiny but he can put that shit away and it's like the size of that well, they it's can't like, see that he's just big they can't see that. He, he is like a leprechaun or something sometimes you like if you wanted to get somewhere fast you'd just pick him up yeah and carry him like a baby yeah and we had like huge amounts of piss with him mm. and ridiculous he was still like let's go some more i was like god damn man where yeah. are you putting this yeah i don't know how he didn't die um i assume he's still alive today yeah as far as I'm aware. That was, that was the second Japan trip, hey? Second Japan trip. Good times, man. Mm. The first time, remember, that guy, the, the Austrian guy behind the bar invited me to a, something I'd never heard of called a red wine onsen. Ah, uh, yes. Remember that? Yes, I do remember that. Um, what was his name? It was like... Uh, ha- is it ha- Harness? Harness? Something Harness Hatch. Harness or something. Harness, yeah. yeah. Harness. Harness. Something Hatch. You put him on to climb up a wall. I think yeah. he wanted to put you on, <laughs> or you to put him on. I don't know. So there was there was something. Vice versa. Yeah, there was something yeah. that, that he was very attracted to you. Um, <laughs> well, you don't just get invited to a red wine onsen. I'm sorry to tell you, John. <laughs> Did you get invited? I, I was about to say I didn't get invited. You know, one of the things. Yeah. Throughout no, my I'm life. I'm not jealous about it though. Am I, you, no. <laughs> come on, mate. You you mention it pretty much every time <laughs> I see you. You know, you don't drink red wine specifically for that reason. You know, for someone that grew up in South Australian wine country. And worked at vineyards. And, and worked at vineyards. <laughs> why did I just put vineyards in inverted commas? I don't but, know. I didn't you know, know you used to be a big red wine snob and now you don't drink I'm at still all. A so red, you, I'm still a red jealous. wine snob. Yeah, well, you're jealous. There's, there's no two ways about it. And that's okay. Just deal with it when you do your ketamine therapy. And there's going to be a lot of things said about it. It's going to be like, that motherfucker never <laughs> invited me to. And they'll be like, do you resent Josh? I'll be like, yeah, fucking oath I do. I really resent him. Like, what do you, what do you, what do you want to say to Josh? What would you say to Josh if he was right here, right now? <coughs> like, punch, Sorry, man. That's uh, punch, be... uh, punch him yep. right in the mouth. <laughs> oh, I was going to say something else about, uh, you know. Japan? Yeah, it wasn't that it, that wasn't irrelevant. Um, but that is irrelevant, that whole thing that I was just talking about. Mm. Um, sorry, mate. Well, I remember specifically on that trip, we were all having a drink and I don't know, something happened and the three of us cracked the shits with each other. Tiger and I went back to the room and didn't speak. Yeah. And you still wanted to keep drinking and you sort of said, I, I don't remember you, but fuck this, I'm off. Yeah, sort of like how the, the fellowship sort of, the hobbits got split up yeah. in Lord of the Rings, and and I was like Frodo. I was like, I'm just taking it to like Lord you're of a hobbit. You're definitely a hobbit because you're short. But if anything, like I'm like Aragorn. I'm fucking. How have you, how have you given yourself that title? Or legless, mate. Know. You are you are Gimli <laughs> in a stretched out body. You are. If there is anyone that you are, you are. 
You complain all the time. <laughs> you don't share. <laughs> are you f- I'm, I'm using up a dollar or whatever it is. Are you fucking serious? You're Aragorn. <laughs> I'm more Aragorn than you, motherfucker. I'm done. No, no, no. All right, then. So say say we are... Okay. You'd we're Frodo. Sean, we're Frodo. Be, okay, Sean if, Penn. Why would I be? Sean Penn's not even in Lord of the Rings. Isn't he the one that get? Isn't he the one? Oh that, yes, he is. Sean Bean. Sean Bean. Sean sorry. Penn, uh, Sean sorry, Penn. Sorry. Sean Penn <laughs> is fucking Rain Man. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> yeah, how would he? Yeah, he's. That's the second time we've referenced that movie and in this podcast. Ox. <laughs> yeah, that's very give me autism. <laughs> The ability to count well, cards on the way to Mordor. Was Gimli autistic? Gimli's a dwarf. No. Was he autistic? <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, there's nothing wrong with being on the spectrum. Well, um, we're all on the spectrum if you think about it. Yeah, it's I would... you sway one way or the other. I would say that I'm... Oh, oh, oh that's, that's it! it. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I was getting into that. What a way oh, to finish. Are you serious? Sorry, guys. No we'll have to, way, We'll man. have to leave uh, the autism talk for no, next episode. I want to know... All right, out of him and I, mm-hmm. if we was Frodo and Sam, who would be Frodo, who would be Sam? Now, I'm going to put it that you would be Frodo because you're selfish. I have to follow you around and do pretty much everything for you. <laughs> I carry your food in little bits of leaves. And I carry all of the shit. <laughs> You when have say, I ever been whenever, selfish? No, 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 no. no. You know, just stop How have I been second, selfish? No, just, I, just, just stop. Every time we come in here, you open the roller door and then I literally bring everything in. And then you're like, oh, yeah, just just set it up for us, mate. Um, so, so, let, let me, let me, let, no, so let me just discuss. So off camera, you walked 10 meters from your car into here and put everything down. And then you sat down immediately on your phone. And then I set, I, every, I set everything up. Yeah, I was preparing. And then I set I was... everything up. And then I said, hey, Josh, can you sit here so then I can frame it? And then you're like, I think so, you piece of shit. See, Frodo lies as and well. Then Frodo and then you sat here. And then lies. you sat here on your phone some more. Oh. And I said, okay, everything's set. You can move over. No. And you're like, uh, uh, the you ring's grunted. Ring, no, the ring's corrupting you. I hope you get stabbed by a spider <laughs> in a big cave. And then, and then what, 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 what was that you were drinking? One of my Pepsi Maxes that I shared. That you said was a Pepsi. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll be so back So how many next were there? Time. There were nine. There were nine in the fellowship all up. Ugh. Out of the entire... Sorry. I don't know. There was but nine. you're not Aragorn. All right. We want to know who's who. Please tell us in the comments. And... If you're they're... Aragorn, I'm Gandalf. And yeah, Grey Gandalf. Yeah, true. Because that's one of the things I want to talk about next time. Gandalf the... Gandalf the Grey as opposed to Gandalf the White. Okay, well, we'll save that for another episode. Okay. But we're going to... Thank you very much for joining us. This has been... A, I was about to say John's Place, but it's not John's Place. Mate, I don't, I don't know why you didn't use that name. This is a basic as podcast. Because it's basic. It should have been called John's Place. Well, we could. It's, it's... But we'll see you next time. <laughs>